Hey guys out there in the world of Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. Uh, if you guys are following me on TikTok, you guys are following me on Instagram, LinkedIn, wherever you guys are at. Thank you guys for coming in and following me. This is going to be a real quick, um, real quick backdoor thing that's happened. So the Xbox 360, uh, we know that the servers have been shut down for a lot of the games. We also know that the store was completely shut down to where you can't purchase anything anymore. Um, and there's some back ways that you can kind of get into the store if you've had something purchased previously. I'm going to show you two different ways to do it, and that way you can get the games that you've had previously on your system, uh, and also you can access the store and get them. So let's just say, for instance, you want to go into your account, and you want to look for whatever. You hit your download history, and your download history should be here. Should be here. Whatever you've got, whatever you've got going, you've got it right there. It should be there. You should be able to click on it with A. Once it decides to load, it should give you the option to either download it again or play now. That's option number one for you guys that are out there that don't know. Now, sometimes it may require you guys, before you can go to option number one there, to do the license transfer. And all you do is click on A, you transfer the license back over, and that way anything you've purchased from the Xbox One or the Xbox Series S or X will transfer back over to the 360. And that way you have it on here, and that way when you go into your download history, it's there for you to download. You can just scroll through and see what you've got and just re-download those old games that you want. So the second way is, if you notice, I've got a game currently inside the tray. That's very important. It doesn't have to read. You don't have to play the game, but you need a game inside the tray. And you need to go to that tab that says play game. Now on this one, you're going to hit X, game details. Once you're here, it doesn't matter if it actually loads to show you what game it is. Like this is NBA 2K12, what I've got in. Hit the Y button for search. And let's just search for something like Counter-Strike, C-O-U-N-T-E-R, C-O-U-N-T-E-R. And then we're going to space it out and spray a strike. S-T-R-I-K-E. All right, now once you've got it in, you would hit the start button. Boom, it's gonna pop up for you the games from the store. And I'll give you another example here in a minute, but you see we've got the movie in the game on the left-hand side. You've got the trial in the middle because it's half there. And then you've got the actual full game. Now you can't purchase anything, but it's a back way to get you into, into the store for those of you that need to see the stuff that was available or wanna hold nostalgia back or keep that up. That's an easy way for you guys to do it. Now it'll take it a minute to load here and hopefully it'll load. Let's try it again. Sometimes it takes twice, twice as fancy to load in. But once you get in, it'll give you the options on the left-hand side to see all the stuff that's available to this game. You can also pin these to your home. And once you pin them to your home, uh, you can have everything that, that you need access to right there. It's not going to load for me. Of course it's not. There it is. As soon as I said that. So notice you've got the free trial. You've got play on Xbox. You've got the rate and you've got remove pin. But you can pin it to your home as well and have it right there on your home to try. So that's another way in. And I told you we're going to search for something else. So we're going to go into the search bar. And let's just type in war. Let's see what happens, what games pop up with war. W-A-R. Boom. All right, so as you see, you've got Rock Band that pops up. Rocksmith, America's Army. I haven't seen that. The True Soldiers of America's Army. I haven't seen that in a long time. Armored Core, uh, the Gears of War, Black Ops. I mean, it just shows you on and on and on. And as you notice at the bottom of the, each one, it tells you whether it's a trial by the half or if it's the full game in the middle or if it's content, like that's the biscuit skin that's content with the plus at the bottom or if it's a video. So you can, uh, the trailers, I should say, the videos are the trailers, and you can tell what's going on, but this is a back way in. So if you're looking for something specific, that's what you can do. And then, like I said before, you can click on it, 
You can pin it to your home. You can make sure that you've got it there and then you can play it. And then the other thing is, is if you've got stuff and you're downloading it, make sure you have enough space on your hard drive. And that way, when you click on your games tab down here, your my games tab, it just loads directly in and you don't have to worry about what's going to happen. And if you've got discs that you've downloaded, you notice that there's a circle there on Perfect Dark Zero, right? Circle that's on the bottom right hand side. It also says plus Xbox One to the left of it. That means you have to have the disc in in order for it to read the license for you to play it. So as long as your disc tray is good, as long as you've got memory that's available to you, you can play all these games. However, like Zen Pin here is downloaded directly to the hard drive. All of it's on the hard drive, so you can play it directly from there. And that's a great thing for you guys to learn and know. Uh, for those of you that are just now getting into the Xbox 360 and you're going back and doing some retro uh, collecting, I hope this video helped you. I want to see you guys excel at this in the future. This will be something that we're going to be doing on a regular basis, trying to help you guys learn about different features of different consoles. So thank you guys for coming in and being here and I appreciate you. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye guys.